To create a frame built from structural steel, you can use the custom feature called Beam. Select the standard, profile type and profile size, then select any number of sketch lines or arcs from any number of sketches on screen. This example was built using three sketches, one for the base, one for the top and one for the vertical beams which will be mirrored over to the opposite side at the end. The first beam selected shows three on-screen manipulators. You can use these to reposition the origin of the profile to the center or to the midpoints or endpoints of the outer profile and change the angle. Since these beams must be welded, you can use any combination of the trimming tools provided to get the result you need. For example, mitre all the corners. In this case though, we want to create butt joints, so pick a sketch vertex from each corner. The default trimming and extending of each corner condition depends upon how the original sketches were created, but you can easily override the default by clicking the flip arrow at each joint. Joints don't have to be of the same type. You can mix and match any combination of mitre joint, butt joint or no joint. However, please bear in mind that joints only work on two beams at a time. If you need to create a joint between three or more beams, then you need to create more than one beam feature. For example, the cross beams need to be created in a separate beam feature. The last used profile type and size is remembered, so you just need to select the new sketch curves and reposition them. Again, the orientation of each sketch entity has an effect on the position of the beam, so you may be able to create multiple beams from multiple sketches all in the same feature. If any beams look out of place, you can unselect them and add them later in another new feature. Here you can see that these beams intersect, so use the Trim Beams option to trim by face or by part. If you trim by part, you can also set how the ends of the beams are trimmed, either flat, which is the default, or coped, to get a closer fit. If you only need a flat trim, use the planar face option, but again you can mix and match if you need some joints coped and some joints flat. You can select as many planar faces as you need, and all the beams that touch or intersect the selected faces will be trimmed back. Repeat the process to add the last two beams using planar trims, then finish off by mirroring the missing beams. OnShape's multi-part part studio and weldments are a perfect fit. Each beam is treated like a separate part and you can insert the entire part studio into a higher level assembly.